All right, so today we're going to measure uh, thrust washer play on the crank. It's part of my resto. I'm trying to figure out if I need to uh, start checking out the bottom of the block and the crank bearings and stuff like that. One of the main things on a TR6 is the rear. There's two rear thrust washers at the end of the crank, and they start to wear out. And spec is four to eight thousandths. So I've got myself a. Uh, dial indicator and set up on the end of the fan pulley. I'll go over here. Got it just about zeroed out. I'll uh, zero it out, and then we'll uh, press on the clutch. I've pushed it all the way back with a with a big screwdriver, levered it against this. Uh, see right here, levered it against the cross member that goes right here, which pushes the uh, crank all the way back. And then I'll press on the clutch, and we'll see how far it comes forward. I won't try and do this with one hand, but I'll uh, zero that out. Actually, can't. Actually you can't. It's too hard. I'll zero that out, and then we'll uh, press on the clutch, and then we'll see uh, how good we got. All right. So I don't know if you can tell it's too bright. You can see it's zeroed out right down there. And we'll go press the clutch. Solid press all the way to the floor. Where are we at? And it says it is at eleven and a quarter. If you can see it, you can see I've got that. So it's perpendicular to the uh, crank. So I'll repeat that, but. I already did it once before, it was like uh, 12, so 4 to 8 is, you know, acceptable spec, it's a little on the high end, according to all the forums, and it uh, looks like i got thrust washers to replace. Supposedly, well, I know you can do it from under the car, and that's one of the new projects. Alright, so, there you have it. And just in case you're curious, this is the uh, setup I use. I got a dial indicator, the magnetic stand I borrowed from, I bought, but this I borrowed from work. Does uh, five ten thousandths, so half a thousand. You just got to make sure it, uh, you know, it's perpendicular to the axis of the crank.